did I get ya? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. What's up guys, it's ShiningEevee123, back again with some more Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we defeated Price very, very easily, and we have not yet lost any team members. As you could tell from the grinding montage at the beginning, I have done some off-screen training, so we might as well show off our team. Starting with Rogue the Crobat at level 33, and is almost up to level 34. Holding the Sharp Beak with the moves Fly, Bite, Leech Life, and Confuse Ray. Because Crobat apparently cannot learn Sludge Bomb in this game. We have Sasha the Magma, who actually learnt Fire Punch leveling up, so it's a good job I didn't teach the TM for Fire Punch. But it has Ember, Dizzy Punch, Thunder Punch, and Fire Punch holding the Charcoal. Martha the Polyrap with Surf, Submission, Dynamic Punch, and Ice Punch holding the Mystic Water at level 35. We have Raiden the Electrode at level 32 holding the Experience Share with Rollout, Tackle, Screech, and Self Destruct. And I would like to say that Electrode does not learn any Electric type moves leveling up, and the only two Electric type moves it gets for TM are Thunder. And Zap Cannon, which we don't have access to yet, so this is going to be a very fun training this thing. And then Roxanne the Onyx at level 34, holding the Hard Stone with Rock Throw, Screech, Tackle, and Iron Tail. And then we have BS Shifter the Tauros at level 34, holding the King's Rock with Horn Attack, Pursuit, Surf, and Strength. So that's our team. Now, if you remember last time, we got a call from Professor Elm saying that there was some trouble with, at the radio tower. So that is where we're heading right now because we couldn't come here earlier. I did explore this place in, if you remember like way back at the beginning of the Nuzlocke, there was uh, an episode that I told you about that I had filmed a lot of Goldenrod City. And that episode got lost and I explored this place in that episode. So I'm not able, and unfortunately I haven't been able to recover that episode yet. But hopefully I will do soon. Anyway, this grunt starts off with a rat. Okay, I'm gonna keep Rogue up front because it is very nearly up to the next level. We might as well just use Fly on this rat. Okay. Rogue used Fly, and there goes rat. Okay. Rogue gets 247 experience. Rat Kate again, so we might as well. Yeah, let's test out Martha. I only trained Electro to level 32 because it doesn't get any electric type moves leveling up, and I discovered that when I looked on Cerebi. Submission Mist. Okay. That's handy, isn't it? Let's try Dynamic Punch. Oh, of course it missed. This is the fun of having low accuracy fighting, fighting type moves. They always miss. This is why I need, like, Mind Reader or something on this Polyrath. But I don't think we get Mind Reader in this game, so... That's fun. I need Brick Break. Do we- is Brick Break even in this game? I don't think so. I've always liked the music in this ta in the radio tower at this point as well, because... Yeah, there's a Jigglypuff. Um, I've, I don't know, I've always liked the music in the radio tower at this point. And I've still got Rogue up front. Whoops. Oh well. We're gonna have to deal with it, I'm afraid. So, this is interesting. And it's Jessie again! What's that, the third time we've seen her? There's her Arbok. No longer an Ekans, but it's kind of fitting how she looks like Jessie and she has an Arbok on her team. Like, coincidence or not? Who knows, but hey, it happens. Now. I had something to talk about, but I've completely forgot what I was going to- Oh yeah, buses! 
If you don't know, I go to college. I'm done with college um, for, uh, for Christmas, so I don't have to go back to the new year. But, um, there... I have to get a bus to college every day, and it takes me half an hour. The bus journey takes half an hour, and there's two 15-minute walks on either side, so it takes me an hour to get into college. And when the bus is 15 minutes late, it really does not help me, and... You know, buses always are given. In you know, buses out here, they're always given a set time to show up, but they never show up on that time. They always show up late. Now I'm okay when it's just a couple of minutes late, but when the bus is 15 minutes late, it kind of it definitely makes it a bit of an issue. You know, what, I'm going over to Magma for this. Anyway, that's uh, this little rant over. So I, you know, who's excited for Christmas? Because Christmas is in like eight days from when you're watching this. And I'm honestly, I'm not too excited, but I don't know, I mean, I'll probably get excited for Christmas maybe around the 23rd or 24th of December, but for right now, I'm not 100%, like, I'm not fully excited. Like, I've got, I've got all the presents I was going to get for everybody, I've given out Christmas cards, I've been to a couple Christmas parties, but I'm still not excited for Christmas, and it doesn't make any sense. I think it's because now I'm 19 and Christmas is coming around so quickly that it just doesn't excite me anymore. And you know, the older you get, I don't know if this is the case for you guys, but the older you get, the less presents you seem to get. Because I've seen pictures of like my very first Christmas, I got like a hundred presents. And now I get like, I, I'll, I'll get maybe 15 presents if I'm lucky. And it's, it's also the hardest at Christmas time when you're the eldest of four, like, there is no way you can not do that. Now you can skip this grunt altogether if you wish, but I don't want to do that. I do want to, however, want to put Magma to the front. And hopefully we can keep this team... Because I'm happy with this team. This is probably one of the best teams I've ever used in the game. And I'm just glad that I got that egg in the last episode. Because otherwise, we would not have had this Pokemon. And I did not realize this Grunt had a Zubat. Thunder Punch. Let's go. This is what I love about Magma is... She has access to every, most moves, and she can counter a lot of types. Like, she can learn Thunder Punch and Dizzy Punch, so she can counter her weaknesses to both Water and Rock, which is crazy. And it also gives me a nice way to counter Electric types, while Electro does not have any Electric type moves. So, that's nice. Right. Okay, uh, I'm going to cut the episode off here guys, and I'll see you back here in just a sec. Okay, and I'm back. I had to cut away because my camera only lets me record for 10 minutes at a time, and mine was about to cut out. So, let's get this on the underway. I don't know where that sentence was going, but we're going with this, okay? Let's go. Grimer, great. Just great. Magma, you can deal with this, I'm sure. The good thing in this game is that Thunder Punch and Fire Punch are both special in this game. So Magma can really take advantage of those moves, like, quite well. Oh, great. Minimize and Sludge. There we go, we can hit it. Sweet. Now, I, I the only thing I don't like, really like about Magmar in this game is that it doesn't get its evolution. 
It's a really cool evolution from like a couple gens away, but we're gonna have to deal with that unfortunately. We really are gonna have to deal with that because you know It happens. Magma was Magmortal was not introduced in this generation, so we cannot have access to it, and that kind of sucks because I really like Magma. Well, Magmortal, excuse me. So, like, I've been watching a lot of videos from. Owen from Ohio, I've talked about him in the past, but I really like his videos. They're always really funny, and always, he always has something to talk about, as far as I'm concerned. And he is he started his playthrough after me, but he's already at the Elite Four in his Leaf Green version. Or, sorry, sorry his Fire Red Let's Play. And not that that's not because I'm... Listen, I haven't got an excuse for that, really. I mean, he uploads almost every day, and I on, I can only upload on certain days. And plus, I took like two weeks off, so I, you know, that's the reason he's ahead of me. But I have to disagree with a lot of members on his team. I mean, I like Sandslash, I like Charizard, I like Farfetched. I'm gonna put that out there. I do like Farfetch. But I'm not a big fan of everything else on his team. I've gotta say. And we're poisoned. Do I have anything to heal that poison? Yes I do. That is lucky. Okay. Let's put Yeah, let's put you up front, Taurus. And let us continue. This guy's not a vet trainer, so we'll move on. And battle this rocket grunt. Now, there always seems to be... I don't know if it's me, but from my understanding, most of the team bad guy stuff just tends to happen after the seventh gym, like once you're done with the seventh gym, that's when you really de start dealing with the main issues with your with the team that you're facing, like your bad the bad guys in the game. Once you beat the seventh gym, that tends to be when you start seeing bad things happen from them. And I don't know if it's just me or if anyone else has noticed it, but I def it definitely seems that way to me. And I'm and I don't want to think, no, like why do we have to wait so long in the game to finally understand the bad guy's true intentions and f finally get a chance to put a stop to him once and for all, you know? It's just, it's just really, really crazy. Zubat, so we will switch over to Roxanne. I really want to use Electrode, I really do, but the fact that it hasn't got any electric moves kind of makes this a little bit difficult. I mean, I know it has rollout, but it's still not the same as having an electric move to make Zubats and things a bit easier. And right attack. There's Sensha. I love having Magma on my team. It makes everything so much easier. It really does. Next trainer.
Now we're going to be spending a few episodes battling Team Rocket because I don't want to cover everything in this one video as there is quite a lot to cover and this guy's got Weezing which is one of my favorite Pokemon. I think I've talked about this before how Poison is one of my favorite types of Pokemon if not my favorite type and you know because I've always liked the Poison type and Weezing's definitely up there in my favorite Poison type Pokemon. It's a nice defensive Pokemon, very underrated in my opinion. You know, I would have loved to use one in this last, I would have loved to have used one at this point in the game, but I think I did catch one and it didn't really work out. But we're gonna forget about that and move on. Next guy, alright. I want to at least cover as much as I can in each episode, but I won't cover everything to do with this part of the game, especially since this part of the game is quite, you know, drawn out, quite, and there's a lot to do with this part of the game. I want to tag in more than I was expecting, but I am seven levels higher than that thing, so, you know, that's a good thing. This is the thing though, I think this is the highest leveled I've ever been at this point in the game. Because I've always been training to be at least the same, at le I think at a point where I can have an easy fight against the gym leaders. And not like struggling to take them down, so that's a good thing. Magnemite, another one of my favorite Pokemon. Another Pokemon I feel is very underrated. Yeah, it's four times weak to ground, and it's also weak to fire, but and fighting. But it's a very good Pokemon, especially in later games when it becomes Magnezone. That's that's very good. So, there we go. I'm going to try and make shorter episodes as well, because I think my last episode was like 45 minutes or something. So, I'm going to try and shorten the episodes just a little bit. And we can't get to behind this door yet, so that means there's only one place for us to head. And that is up here. To the next floor. And I'm going to cut away real quick, and I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, and I'm back, so let's continue on with these Team Rocket shenanigans. And try and find something to talk about. Um, I'm not getting anything. <laughs> I wish I had more to talk about, but I just don't. I mean, oh, yeah, so like I've said, uh, I've been watching a lot of videos from Owen from Ohio, and he talks a lot about his friend and his girlfriend, and I just want to say, like, I don't want to get involved with that, but, like, I think he should just let them do whatever the hell they want. Personally, I've been single for, I think, a little over four years which is a very long time at least it seems that way but you know I'm not really too fussed about it the longer I remain single the more freedom I seem to have so you know that's, that's that so I can sit around making Pokemon videos all I want and there won't be a woman in the way to stop me. So. Let's continue on. I think a lot of these guys we battled back in the hideout as well. Or we might have battled all of these guys back in the hideout. Because you see a lot of the same trainers, you see a lot 
of the same, you know, if you read what they're talking about, they say a lot of the same stuff that you've heard before. So it's not like it's new or anything. And I think this Porygon's the highest level Pokemon we've seen so far. Level 30. Another good Pokemon as well, Porygon. I really like, you know, I've, I really like all these Pokemon that got their evolutions in Gen 4 for some reason. I think because Gen 4 was like the generation I played the most, that I became obsessed with all those Pokemon and everything. And I'm going to put Martha up front just because I can. So like, I became obsessed with all the Pokemon that got new evolutions. Oh. You, you came to rescue me. Did we? Ha! Ah, this guy is just an imposter. The real director. The real director is trapped somewhere. Yeah. Now, his name's Rocket Executive. He doesn't get a proper name until the remakes. But, just like the remakes, he's got... I think he's got a full team of coughings and one wheezing. So we have our work cut out for us. And we're going to see the highest level Pokemon we've seen so far. Oh! Raiders level 34. Trying to learn light screen. I think I'll teach that. It might come in hand. Oh. I rushed too quick and got rid of the wrong move, wow. There may be a chance I'm not using Raiden, but we'll see. If I get something soon to replace Raiden, then yeah, I'll, I'll get rid of him, but... For now, it seems like Raiden... just... doesn't want to go anywhere. I'm just not having the best luck with Raiden, I'm really not. If anything, he's like... Not doing anything for the team at all, really. He's just bringing it down. And that's that. Weezing, here comes the Weezing. And Martha is so close to level 36. And how does he have a Weezing at level 32? Last I checked, Weezing does, or Coughing does not evolve into Weezing till level 35. So this executive is a hacker. If he can get a Weezing at level 32. And I wanna know, you know, I wanna know how he did it because I would, don't wanna, ha wanna have to wait till level 35. And we're poisoned again! Yay! Oh, that's always a thrill, isn't it? Level 36. And we have another coughing. I can probably go this whole time. Like This, is like, this has been like a two minute battle so far. But I'm going to try and go this whole battle without healing up. Just because... I don't know why. It just seems like I don't like to heal in... But in battle, and there was a time in this play in this Nuzlocke. If you're new to the channel, if no, there was a time in this Nuzlocke when I went without buying any healing items, and I lost so many Pokemon because of it. And I'm definitely not doing that in future games that I play. But the only reason I didn't like doing that is because you don't, you know, you have limited bag space in this game. So if you run out of backspace, you've got to throw something out. And it's just not fun at all. But with that, guys, that is the last battle we're going to have right now. He's going to tell us that the real director is in the underground and give us the basement key. And that's the thing about teams. Like, you beat them and they have to tell you everything you want to know. Like, they won't just beat you up and lock you in a cupboard somewhere. They'll actually tell you what you want to know, which is quite funny because, you know, they're a big team of villains. You'd think 
that the last thing they would ever want to do is give you a way to save the day. But no, apparently in this game, they're going to give us the item we came for. And I'm going to super speed to the bot. So that was a lot of fun. Very long battle at the end there, but... You know, what can you do when he's got a team of coughings and wheezings? So I'm going to heal up. And with that, that is going to be the end of this episode. So guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video if you're enjoying the series. It really helps me out. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Ooh, I upload Mondays and Saturdays now. And I may hopefully upload on Fridays if I get the chance. So with that... Again, thanks for watching, and Shining EV123, over and out.